And then there was the story of Pamela Isley, a woman who found joy in killing. <coughs> she killed her husband, her lover, and she even tried to kill a cop, but it didn't work. Um, her poison of choice is blood root. From the outside, Pamela appeared to be a normal, happy, loving, suburban housewife. But in actuality, when people hit the breaking point, their inner demons come out. Like very many other serial killers, a lot were women. She used poison as her method, and she had a troubled childhood. Pamela had a troubled childhood, as I said earlier. Her three siblings, her sisters, died of the ages of 12, 14, and 7 of tuberculosis. And every night, her father would do wicked acts to her and her sisters, that is, before they died. Um, she was poor and underprivileged. It all started when she found a poisonous plant in her backyard called bloodroot. Honey, is uh, dinner almost ready? Dang. Honey, how much did we spend this month? I asked for meatloaf. Does this look like meatloaf to you? What is this? Is it that hard to make me low? Look, could you at least get me a drink? Is, it, is that too hard to comprehend? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I have a wife who can actually prepare a beverage. I asked for cranberry, not black cherry. Could you give me some cranberry juice, please? She didn't get the dosage exactly correct. She didn't add enough. The LD50 for blood root is 750 milligrams per kilogram, but 250 milligrams can make an individual sick. I made you cranberry just like you asked. Yeah, thanks. Pamela's first attempt didn't work. He survived. A little sickened by it, but he got over it. Did you correct the second time? Hey honey, could you give me some dinner, please? I'm uh, busy re-adjusting uh, our table. Yeah. I think I'll 86 by 47. That's real great. I told you I was on a diet, and I want a diet meatloaf. But you know what? I'm gonna eat this anyway, because you know it's my favorite strawberry. Mm. 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 That's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. He was 42. Next up was her lover. Hey. They met on the streets. Ooh. Hey baby, is that a classic or what? Man, what is this? She got a little tired of him. She wanted to do 
something different, something sadistic. Like all women, she gets what she wants because she's poisonous. Uh, hey baby, what are we doing tonight? Thinking something a little bit different. Mmm, I like different. Had finally snapped. The last and final straw was with a cop that was coming to investigate the disappearance of two people. She didn't. She wasn't aware that he would be investigating her on that day. Police Department. I'm investigating the disappearances of two separate people. Uh, Malcolm and your husband, you've been contacted. You were the one that called, right? Yes. Um, well, I have a picture of them. Oh, very stunning indeed, yes. So have you seen either of these two gentlemen? My husband died about three months ago. I haven't seen him since. Oh, uh, well. Let us sit and chat about this, yes? Oh, it's very nice, but I have to leave. I'm a very busy man. Would you like me to wrap that up for you? Oh, uh, no. I have to get back to work. You know, you have the number to the police department, right? 911. Okay, well, call me if anything comes up. My name is Agent Xinguo. Thank you for the lovely visit. Thank you for the moment. I sure enjoy it. Oh, yes, hello? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I didn't eat it, don't worry. Yeah, very suspicious. She totally did it. She's so busted. Oh, dear. The police department this way. They took the muffin back to the lab and analyzed it to extract the blood root. They located the poison, and their case was sealed. They were going to catch Pamela. Pamela Isley was picking bloodroot in her front yard to kill her new boyfriend, Brad, when suddenly... Uh, excuse me, Mom. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to, like, arrest you. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Pamela just didn't want to go eat. 